whenever we think about the ways to avoid plagiarism the two common solutions are paraphrasing and citation paraphrasing is a skill the skill which every researcher should learn practice and acquire its nitty gritties so that whenever you are writing any research paper any article or your thesis you know how to paraphrase the text which is already available but before that we need to understand what paraphrasing is taking the words of a source and restating them in your own language by using a different vocabulary in such a way that paraphrased text is conveying the same meaning but it is not the exact copy then it is called paraphrasing many people define paraphrasing in different ways but in common language paraphrasing may be defined as the way of presenting any idea or information in your own words but by understanding it paraphrasing reflects your ability to convey any idea or information in your own words based on your comprehension if you go on the wikipedia page about paraphrasing you will find there that what has been written when they are defining paraphrasing on wikipedia a paraphrase is a restatement of the meaning of a text or passage using other words the term paraphrase basically has been derived from its latin which is called paraphrasis and from greek paraphrasis the literal meaning of these words is additional manner of expression so what paraphrasing is it is a different way of expressing the same thing so the practice or the act of paraphrasing is called paraphrasis there are many forms of paraphrasing but two are common one is known as recycling and another is known as repurposing what is difference between these two when we are doing recycling kind of paraphrasing we basically take the author's words and turn them into a new sentence by using our own words to convey the same idea means we recycle the idea in a different way but neither the idea change nor the meaning repurposing is a bit different in which the idea remain the same but only some of the words are being replaced or changed which ensures that your own writing style and voice is present along with the original author's idea and remember whether it is recycling paraphrasing or it is repurposing paraphrasing the citation at the end of the paraphrase signals that the word are yours but thought has been adopted from someone else or the author to whom you have cited another the term with which many times we get confused is summarizing dear friends remember paraphrasing and summarizing are different when we summarize we present the main idea of the passage in our own words so we hardly take only the key points or the main words from the passage but paraphrasing is basically a way to provide the most of the information of the original author in a slightly condensed or different way so paraphrasing can be shorter longer or of the same length but why do we require paraphrasing if we don't do it it will be assumed that we have taken something from somewhere and presenting it as its own so where is our own understanding where is our own idea so paraphrasing basically provide provides the support for claims and add credibility to the writing paraphrasing gives you an authentic position to agree or disagree with and you are free to expand condense or give a depth to the idea by keeping original in the context so the originality and context never change but the words can change it helps you to build your own argument 
to favor disfavor any statement how to paraphrase a very popular strategy is four hours what four hours read whatever you are going to paraphrase first read it read it and develop its understanding so read means did you understand what the passage is the next r is restate restate means put the para away from you and write it in your own words and did you restate the important points in your voice it is very important then you recheck after restating you recheck that whatever i have written whether it has included all the important points from the original or not if not then we recorrect it or repair it so that no misinformation is being communicated through a paraphrased version is it interesting let us see in summary you can say that for paraphrasing you read the original text understand it as a whole set it aside then use your own memory write down the main points and concepts and elaborate it in your own words summarize the material which helps you to make the point how to paraphrase there are certain steps the first step is reading read the original text it is also in 4 hours read the original text until you grasp its meaning and then set it aside it's not like that you read a paragraph then put it somewhere else and you start writing then again read another paragraph then again no no you come read it completely the original text and try to develop your own understanding your own meaning and then set it aside then based on your memory you write down the main points and the concepts but don't copy the text verbatim while re reading a passage first try to understand its meaning take a pause think about it identify the key points or the specific ideas or the phrases which should be retained in your paraphrased version be selective do you do not require to paraphrase an entire passage sometimes you can choose and summarize the material which helps you you choose and summarize the material which helps you to make a point in your paper think of what your own words it would be if you are telling someone who is and familiar with your subjects your mother your brother your friend what the original source said remember that you can use direct quotations of the phrases from the original within your paraphrase and that you do not need to change or put quotation mark around shared language or common vocabulary shared by a community of scholars check your notes against the original to ensure that you have not accidentally plagiarized here is an example i have taken these three para one is the original quote new tracks aside the challenge is the bare minimum to bring light and dash 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 by michael kamelman why the second paragraph is poor paraphrasing they have just replaced certain words even not change the word order not change the sentence order so but if you read the third paragraph they have sentence change they have changed the word order they have written their own idea which is based on the original and also they are citing from where they have done so remember if you are paraphrasing someone's work in your own words still you need to cite in text citation as well as in the reference list so we can summarize the whole paraphrasing process into certain steps first read the original text until you grasp its meaning and then set it aside use your memory write down the main points or the concepts do not copy text the verbatim change the structure of the text by varying the opening changing the order of the sentence length uh, or shortening the sentences replace the keywords with the sentences replace the keyword within the sentences by using the synonyms or phrases of the similar meaning check your notes against the original to ensure that you have not accidentally plagiarized 
what strategies you can use for paraphrasing use synonyms for all the words which are not generic what the words like world food science these are so basic that you do not require to change such words with a difficult one change the structure of sentence change the voice from the active to passive voice and vice versa change the clauses to the phrases and vice versa and change the part of speech here are few examples change the voice of the text by converting a sentence from active voice to the passive voice or from passive voice to the active voice you can change the structure of the sentence but the meaning will remain same you can compare the two examples which have been taken from a blog post or from world voice then in the original text uptake of 300 cc injected and in the modified version its active form is there that eat 0.5% increase in hypoxia in the tumor organ reduce the uptake up to 300 cc injected so and so you can find the synonyms by using thesaurus thesaurus is a very good tool for you avoid a dictionary start reading thesaurus because thesaurus also gives you the idea that from where this word word has originated what meaning a word is carrying in a social structure in a cultural structure or in a political structure so thesaurus can be a great help to you when you are exploring the synonyms or the similar terms of the original text but while consulting the thesaurus please remember that use only those terms whose meaning is clear to you and it is not making the converted text difficult to understand you may start your para with some signaling signaling terms what do you mean by signaling terms means in the original para it has been written that miller in 2012 notes so and so when you are paraphrasing it you can write that in its in his 2012 study miller discusses about recent innovations in the this 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 and then what he writes so this help to change the paragraph as well as your own idea is also merged with the paraphrased version so there are many specific signaling verbs because when we signal in a research work about any author we generally take three positions either the neutral position or we are agree with the original author or we are not in the agreement or disagree with the author so if we are in the neutral position we write the terms like believe concluded observe propose argue write but when we are in the agreement we use the term show demonstrate evidence prove confirms when we show the disagreement we use the term neglects disregards overlooked pay little attention etc here are two examples the title has been given good and bad the paragraph are basically credited to dr dalal from jawaharlal nehru university so these three slides are credited to her the original text you can see the rise of the industry the growth of the cities and the expansion of the population were the three great developments in the late 19th century american history see the paraphrased version the increase in the industry the growth in the cities the expansion of the population were the three large factors of 19th century america now you see what is there is there any great change not at all only two or three words have been changes or three great development has been replaced by three large factors but the word order is same the sentence frame is same that's why it is unacceptable paraphrase or the bad paraphrase and it may be considered as plagiarism why because the proceeding passage is considering the plagiarism for two reasons number one the writer has only changed the few words and phrases not changed the author's original structure the writer has failed to cite the source of any of the idea or fact in his paraphrased paragraph so if you do either or both you are basically plagiarizing the paragraph is also problematic because it changes the sense of the several sentences for example steam driven companies and all that another example the rise of the industry the growth the same example has been taken but why the sec its paraphrased version is acceptable because here it has changed the word structure the line the sentences the words and the author has been cited at the end of the paragraph so why it is good 
because it is acceptable paraphrasing due to accurate relying on the information of the original text and reader is also aware that from where the original source was. You will find many such examples. I would suggest you that there are certain activities in this course which you do. You paraphrase on your own. Watch this video again. See the criteria or the steps which have been followed or suggested. Then whether your paraphrased text is qualifying to be a good paraphrasing or a bad one. The choice will be yours. Suggestions will be ours. Thank you very much.